Okay, I think we're about ready. Let's over. There we go. There's that. Um. Okay, and let me adjust that. Let me adjust that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let me swap it over. And here we go. And Vivian's there, yay. The, the tile screen is filling up. So, I was thinking of uh, starting chapter five. However, I remembered something I said uh, during chapter four. I think I need to go through the Pit of 100 Trials a little bit. I think we need to take a run down to Pit of 100 Trials for a little bit. Actually, well, I think this way would be faster. I want to try to get about halfway. I want to try to get to 450. Maybe I should wait, but honestly, the reward in Chapter 50 in floor 50 is something I really want. <clears throat> hey, Act, how's it going? Anyway, let's go and get this started. I have first strike. Okay, that doesn't work here. Don't know why it doesn't. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's try... Let's get Koops in here. Power shell. Nah, I didn't get the timing right there. We're getting extra coins out of this, so that's something, but, okay, no star point. Or only one star point. These are pretty weak. So... Yeah, I want to try to get to floor 50. And I have first attack. Defeat enemy... Oh, I have to use a first strike. Okay. Good to know. Just wanted to double check that. The, the first few floors might go pretty quickly. No? How come that didn't get it? It'd be better if I used Power Shell. Okay. So using Cooper... Or using Coops to get a first strike didn't count. I guess. You know, thinking about it, I might have been better off trying to get, like, trying to mix some, uh, items. Oh, well. Actually, I should probably do that after this. I guess first strike is not working in the Pit of 100 Trials. Well, that's annoying. Well, the first 24... Floor should be simple. At least I don't have to tattle. Not for a little while. Gonna click. No, we're gonna try to get halfway act. If I'm gonna clear the pit, I wanna make sure I have all of my party members. I just wanna try to get to 450. I want the reward that's there. I should be able to do it. And then I think after that, the next time I decide to go into the pit, we should be able to get all the way to floor 100. Kind of tackling, trying to tackle this in chunks, you know what I mean? If I wasn't do, if I didn't do that uh, trouble earlier, 
I might have held off on jumping into the pit until probably now. And then just go straight to 450 and not not do three trips, you know what I mean? Yeah, first attack is not helping me. <laughs> I thought it would clear out some of the early fights, but no. Either I'm too weak, or it just doesn't work in the pit. I can't. I can't jump. Oh, I think the water just clears, like, status conditions. But yeah, what's going on, Act? What's been going on? I say you swap to a Pidgey Yacht, a uh, little sprite thing. Decided not to go. I, I mean, you must have turned into a bird after you were turned into a pig. You're not the sword you once were. with work, so I'll be mostly listening. It's all good, Act. It's all good. The first who knows how long this is gonna be is just gonna be trying to get to 450. And then after that, we'll move on to Chapter 5. But yeah. Enjoy the background noise at the very least. I was hoping that freaking first strike would make this go a little bit faster. No. I wonder if like HP is involved. Whether first strike works. I would think it's just the amount of star points you get. If you if you only get one star point for the fight because you're too strong, then first strike should work, but nope. Doesn't seem to be the case. A Volt Shroom. I mean, I have Zap Tap equipped, so I can maybe sell that. Or maybe cook it with something. I don't know. I know they probably didn't add it in, but I was, when I was doing some research on, like, some information on the old Thousand Year Door. I saw that apparently at one point Luigi was going to have a partner, a, a different partner. It was like an unused one. It was a Spinia like these guys. And uh, it uh, when you look at the different layers, it looks like a hamburger. And they didn't fully go, uh, ha they didn't keep that, so that's annoying. Increasing defense. Uh, I mean, I don't need the vulture. Fire flower can be used. Yeah, let's go ahead and save the FP for a second and use my fire flower. And I have one honey mushroom, so that's nice. Koops is getting a lot of use right now. Oh, hey, Thunderbolt. Single target, five damage. It's okay. It's not as good as the other one. All right, floor 10. Another 10 to go, and that'll be all the repeats.
Let's see. Probably gonna need Goombella. Maybe I need to swap to, uh... Well, I can use Vivi. I don't have to use Goombella. Actually, Ungo is probably better. Um... I kind of wish I was able to jump. Alright, uh, let's get rid of the one with the fire flower. down, one to go. Yeah, thanks, regen. The problem is, there's no multi-hit on the air with hammers. Uh, I got it wrong. Oh well. Right now I'm just gonna hope that Happy Heart activates. Or we get an HP drop. Oh, a Fright Mask. I guess we'll... Oh, wait. Um, do I want to take it? On a single enemy, I'll get rid of the Thunderbolt. Thunder Rage is better anyway. Alright. <clears throat> Floor 12. I can use Quake Hammer. Or use a Fright Mask. Let's use up my Fright Mask. Two run away. Alright. I think I'll use Gulp. That's more guaranteed for me. And I still have Earth Tremor. Yeah, I, I have plenty of options now. I think getting 450 is going to be pretty simple. Mini, Mr. Mini, lowers their attack. Good alternative to Shrink Stomp and Soft Stomp, I guess, for single targets. Cloud is at ground level. Oh, that was your mistake. Because I have a hammer. And I also have hammer. Oh no, a dried shroom. I can't carry anymore. I think I'll just use the dry shroom. <laughs> Get one HP back. Use it up. Okay, another cloud. He's gone. So I have to use Yoshi. The ground pound. And then we can hit him with the hammer. Right. There we go. Yeah, if you want to save going to floor 50 until after chapter 5, it's not the worst idea. I just think I want the reward now. Got a pal block for two damage. Um. No, I think I wanna. No, I think I wanna keep everything else.
Yeah, I just think I want the reward now. Oops. And... Sorry, mess it with the camera. All right, that should be good. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to use that dizzy dial on me. That ain't gonna work. Still need to get one more point of HP uh, to get back to my cap. And of course, no HP is dropping after battle. You know what, I don't think I want the dizzy dial. I don't think I want it. Okay. Paragoomba. Hit it with a hammer. Because that's the smart move. Alright. It's still in the air. And that's actually... It's actually a good thing. So I'm gonna take her take care of the fighter. Oh. The whole thing crashed. Okay, fine. Well, I'm still gonna get rid of the Actually I should have gotten rid of the fighter. Now that I think about it. That Goomba probably would have died to uh Zap Tap. But the Piter got hit with Dizzy because of the... Uh, one of the things fell on top of his head, so he missed. This is a weird... this is a weird battle. This is a very weird battle. Yeah, and I don't really want the Dizzy dial. Let's just keep going. Alright. We got clip. We got clefts. Someone's gonna stay alive. Yeah, someone's gonna stay alive. So, how about I get rid of the normal cleft? And of course, there's mist on my side. Increasing my evasion. Super guard off, so that works out. I swear, fire drive is going to be more useful and probably in the later set. The quake hammer. There's gonna, I'm gonna have more uses. I swear. Moving on down. Uh, another spiny. Or a pokey, I mean. And of course, there's another cloud here. Is he gonna... No. But we have Yoshi get rid of him. Get out of here. You 
You know, I'm winning these fights so fast, there isn't even a chance for Happy Heart to even activate. And Yoshi lost one HP anyway, so... Kinda wish an HP thing would drop. Simple decision. Hammer the pokey. And then Yoshi the rest. once we get to floor 21. At least I think it would. At least I think it would. Actually, no. Didn't I make it to floor 430? I might have. I think I win an extra 10. Well, here we are. We made it to floor 20. We got a shop here. Uh, oh. I can't buy the ultra mushroom or the jamming jellies, but... Damn. Duck. 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 All right. Let's go! <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I probably made it to 4.30. I think I already made it to uh, 30. All right. Okay, let me think about this. Yoshi is not gonna help me. I think we're probably better off swapping back to Koops. Wait. Much this fiery jinx. Uh, it's basically fire drive, but it costs more FP. But it doesn't decrease in damage as it goes along. So I think what I'm actually going to do. Let's go with Coops instead. Let's have Koops go ahead and Power Shell. And then I'll just use my normal hammer. One's gonna stay alive. All right, Koops, go ahead and get the kill. Hope there's a mover here somewhere. Ooh, a super mushroom. I am gonna swap that with a. Um, Mr. Softner, Mr. Softner. I think if I'm gonna use the item, I'd rather lower their attack, maybe. Also, I have Power Lift. Power Lift is really good. Yeah, I remember fight fighting these bandits. Okay. At 5 HP, I can Fire Drive. Norse Defense. Or I can hit them all with Quake Hammer. Let's try Quake Hammer. I want to see how much I can do. Okay, it's still three damage. Okay, I, I lucked out there. That was cheap. In that case, I'm going to Oogump. I'm going to attack the one that is still not frozen. I probably should have gone with Fire Drive. I could have at least gotten rid of two. Well, I saved the FP. Oh, 
of makes a different sound effect for the ground pound. I would say, poor shy guy. Oh, <laughs> well, he's dead. He got hit with a pan and that could have affected him with Dizzy. And then he broke out of the ice, which causes one damage. So he died. That's funny. We got a mushroom. I think I'll just use it. And get my full health back, I guess. Accutu. Get out of here. And look, it's Spiky Goomba. Or Goomba. We'll just use the normal hammer. And then we'll get Koops. I remember I was struggling a bit during this set. Well, not struggling, but I could have died during this batch when I was doing this do uh, with Woodsville. But now that I have, like, a good amount of money. Oh, right. I didn't even have Hammer Man or Jump Man during that time. So, yeah. Oh, we can get rid of all of them right now. We have 4 HP. Not that it matters when you have Fire Drive. They can all blow up. You can use Fiery Jinx, but that's one more FP. Oh, look, it's a boo. Get out of here. Come on. Okay, this is gonna be, uh, gonna have to make a decision now. So, two of them have items. A hammer was not, wasn't enough to defeat one of them. I might have to go with fire drive and then power shell. They got hit by the ice mist and they lost their fire debuff because they it got like cooled off. Well, I spent a lot of FP there. Okay, now I'm actually getting, still getting some EXP. I got four there. Fire flower. You know what? I think I will keep that because I might use it. Get rid of the Mr. Uh, mini Mr. Mini. That one Goomba, Goomba has more HP, has total 12. I'm probably gonna use Fire Drive, but I can't, I don't wanna spam Power Shell. So I'm gonna have Cooper take care of the one Goomba in front. In front. Now I'm gonna use Fire Drive. The bandit's gonna die from burn. And we super guarded the spiky Go Goomba. There we go. That was an okay use of my FP. And 
very low on FP now. Gonna have to... I have to consider some other strats. Oh, hey, look! We got HP plus badge from that. I kind of wish it was more FP, but hey, we'll take it. It's another badge. I am probably going to want to consider... Well, hold on. I have 6 FP. I could use it. Yeah, you know what? And I have Sweet Treat. Okay, we've taken out one bandit. Got another boo taken out. Okay, booze in the air. Bandit's gonna die. Okay, I have one FP left. Could use my item, but it's gonna be a while before I level up. So how about I use Sweet Tree? Try to get my FP back. First time I had to use a uh, sweet treat in this in this. So what do we got? Uh, eight FP. Okay. Or a total of eight. I get some of it back. Now let's go back to Uga and Ground Pound. I'm gonna get my star points back. Yeah, I'm gonna get them back. It's not a big deal. Come on. Go down. Go down the pipe. Get out of here, lackey two. You know what? Instead of using Fire Drive, I have a Fire Flower. Let's use it up. There's two ball bombs here. There we go. I saved my FP that way. And Yoshi can take care of the lack too. Here we go. <laughs> I got my star points back. Look, a dried shroom. Let's use it up. I'm not gonna keep it. I can I can buy one at Don Pianta's shop for like a couple coins if I needed it for anything. Well, I think it's a good idea to fire drive. Fire Drive is a really good skill. So, I'm just gonna ground pound the one in the back. The boo in front is gonna die to burn, even if he uses the dizzy dial. Oh no, he uses the dizzy dial. Oh no, I am dizzy. But Boo's dead, because of the burn.
We made it to 430, and I already got the reward. So now we're at new stuff. Quote, unquote, new stuff. Okay, you know what? I might have to consider swapping jump man, but we'll see. Okay, anyone need... Okay, we do need to tell the one guy. Let's get that done first. The one Koopa. That's a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. HP of 8, defense of... Attack of 4, defense of 2. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as as a regular Koopa. Flip it over, and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? Alright. I think I am going to go with... Actually, I'm just going to use my normal hammer. Those are flower fuzzies. They're just going to drain FP anyway. <laughs> yeah, attack Mario. It's not gonna work. You know what? I'll I'll just like Mbella. Do that. Get rid of the Koopa. And we'll just use my normal hammer. Oh look! I get a strength boost. Not that I needed it. I didn't need the strength boost, but here we are. Attack power of eight. <laughs> Thank you, Zap Tap, for making fuzzies a non threat. Mushroom. Basically, a recovery or a regen. That's the word. Okay, cleft. Okay, I have to play Hammer if I want to get all of them. I don't have anything that hits all of them, so we'll just keep doing that. It's not hurting anything. And we could just use the normal hammer. Get out of here. I don't need you. Yeah, now we're fighting enemies that was in chapter 4. Probably gonna fight Amazing Daisies. Okay, a honey syrup. I mean, I could just use it. Or I could get rid of a normal mushroom. Actually, we'll get rid of the slow shroom. I don't need it. How often do you really need, like, a regen, you know? Versus immediate healing. Okay. I have not tattled the para... The para beetle. I'm just gonna attack the flower fuzzy right now while I have the chance. If it attacks Mario, it's gonna die. That's a Parabuzzy, a Buzzy Beetle with wings. HP of 5, attack of 3, and defense of 4. I guess those stats are just like a Buzzy. Fire explosions seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? If you flip it over, its defense goes down to zero, so jump on it first. 
Mario can't do that. I have Hammer Man. Okay, it activated the regen on the Flower Fuzzy. Seems to last 10 turns. But it's too bad the Flower Fuzzy uh, KO'd itself. Okay. Ooga. Do your thing. So what happened there was why it went zero twice is the first hit got rid of the wings. The second hit then flipped it over. So that's why I only dealt three damage right there. We're almost at a level up. Next fight will do that. Oh, hey, a sleepy sheep. I, uh, that might actually be useful. Um, I'll get rid of a normal mushroom. Uh, no one needs it, so I'll just toss it. What, what floor are we on? 33? Oh. Okay. I should have tattled the blue Koopas. Yeah. Those are the ones that can fight back. Let's Quake Hammer. Hit them all. Alright. And luckily I have Mist on my side. I need to Ground Pound the, one, the Shady Koopa in the back. That one can attack back. Of course, get rid of the one that has more HP. Yeah, wow, that's a, that's six damage. That's not good. I don't like that. Hmm. Well, ground pound. I'm gonna level up anyway. Maybe get rid of, getting rid of them one at a time might have been the better idea. Because there were two of them. Imagine if both were able to attack. I wouldn't have been able to make it. I wouldn't have made it. More batch points! What can I equip? With a total of 42 batch points! Let's see, what do I got? So I could equip another HP plus. Uh, let me sort it. Right now I have hammer main equipped, so I'm not considering jumps. I have no hammer moves, so we'll leave it at that. I could equip HP plus, maybe. Um I already have flower finder, item hog, zap tap. Honestly, I'm not... You know what? We will do the HP+. Plus. One more level and I might swap it out, though. Like, I'm, I might swap out the HP+, plus with either the Defense+, plus or something else. Okay, Flower Fuzzy. Oh, let's not, like, stress over this too much. Okay, um, let's just get rid of the one. Let's save my FP. Oh, wait, no, I just got the refill. I could have used FP. Oh, well. Now they're frozen. That was not a part of the plan, but okay. Super backdrop falling on me. Okay, they are frozen. I could take out one with the hammer. Then 
Yoshi can take down the other one. And one's left alive. Okay. Now we'll just use the normal camera. I guess... I could have used FP there. I already had full. It wasn't going to hurt anything. I could have fire drive. Got 15 star points for that one. Heart finder is not the worst idea to have for Pit of a Hunter Trials, especially when you're this far down. I wouldn't get rid of fire, uh, flower finder for it, but having it on top wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay, these are the normal ones. And luckily, I will quake hammer. Get rid of both. Get both of them on the ground. And missed on my side. Not that it's gonna matter. Yoshi! Who come do your stuff? Yes. Be on the ground. Can't move, can ya? Get out of here. Man, I have over 500 coins right now. Mega Rush P. So you're, if your partner is at 1 HP, the attack goes up by 5. Again, Mega Rush, like going into danger strats, is very, very broken. Again, I'm trying not to rely on danger strats. Because I feel like we could be a little bit more interesting. Okay. Okay. Ground Pound, the Parabuzzy. Then, Quake Hammer. One's alive with one HP. And we'll just use the hammer. Yeah, it's probably better that I have Hammer Man instead of Jump Man, because I just don't have the ability to jump on spikes. If I did have that ability, I would consider Jump Man. And now that I have Hammer Throw, I'm more okay with using Hammer Man. I forget when we get Spike Shield, though. Come on, come on, get, oh, okay, I tried to hit it with a hammer. Oh, okay. We got the tougher Koopas, let's get rid of them, one at a time. We'll ignore the Parabuzzies for a little bit. I'll just use the normal hammer. I'm not letting either one of them attack me when they're on the ground. Or on their back, I should say. Oh, great. Mark. Ooh. Mario's not gonna make it. Alright. Uh, Mario's not gonna make it. Unless. No, not Sweet Treat. Earth Tremor. I have to get it all.
All right, got it. That hits the Parabuzzies, too. They're out of here. The Koopa is not flipped, but that's fine. We are going to ground pound. And he's out of here. Okay. We got double EXP for this. So that's worth it. I'm probably going to need to use one of my healing items. Or I need to use Sweet Treat. Depending on what the next one is. Oh, they dropped flower or hearts. Thank you. Now it's six. That helps. Oh, hey, look. It's the Koopas again. That's not good. Okay. I don't want to be in front. Earth Tremor does not flip them. I think I'm going to ground pound one of the other ones. but one is frozen, but I can't, I can't. I have to go with Earth Tremor. I don't want to flip him on his back or anything. Two are done. And Yoshi had to take the hit, but that's fine. All right. Yoshi takes down the one in the back. And you know what? Let's go with the sweet treat. I have another turn. Yoshi's at full health again. I'm at 12. Yeah, th th this is okay. He's at 1 HP. And you know what I'm actually going to do? Because I will let Yoshi take the, uh, take the KO. I'm going to appeal. And now I'll ground pound. Now I can Earth Tremor again if I need to. And Mario's at a, at 12 health, so that's not bad. A Courage Shell. You know what? I might keep it. I forgot I had Sleepy Sheep. Um. Actually, you know what? I don't think I will. I think next time I run into a situation like that, I will use the Sleepy Sheep. I forgot I had it. We made it. 440. And in the treasure chest is... Pity Flower. It's basically Happy Heart. If you take damage, you will occasionally get one FP back. Eh, I'm good. What does the shop have? Same stuff. Now it's even more money. The Ultra Mushroom and the Jam and Jelly were at 350, I believe. Now it's 550. Alright, I'm trying to go another 10. What do we got? Let's get the Umbrella. And I did 
didn't get the first strike, but that's okay. First, let's let's tattle. This is Dark Paratrooper. It lives in dark, damp places. HP eight, attack of attack is four, defense is two. It's strong, but otherwise just like other paratroopers. It's airborne, so try to ground it first. One has a curved shell, one has a dizzy dial. Gabella wasted her turn. Let's see. I can hammer throw, not a good option. Let's use my sleepy sheep. There we go. For three turns, there is sleep. I'm gonna swap to... Let's first get rid of the one with the dizzy dial. This is where Jumpman would be nice. Okay. Now I'll just attack with the normal hammer with the KO. Building up my star points back. All right, let's get rid of the one with the curd shell. Guess we're doing the same thing. Perfect. Okay. I could just get rid of one. Right now, one will attack me. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I don't have any way to like move to jump or something. There we go. Damn, of course Mario got was the one that, to get attacked. Grabbing the heart finder from the star piece trader is probably a good idea. And have it ready to go for the next time uh, I go through Pit of 100 Trials. Right. Couldn't really use FP. There wasn't really good opportunity. I guess I could have tried to Gale Force. I guess I could have tried that. We have a dizzy dial. Just lowers their accuracy, but it's probably not a bad idea. Okay. Gonna need to be careful. These guys. There's a lot of strong enemies here. Let's tattle first. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob -ombs, but it's huge. HP is 6, attack is 2, defense is 1. It's weird. It never attacks, but once it fuses its lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. And when it powers up, that attack power is eight. So watch out. Fire explosions will make up, make them blow up immediately. So I guess setting them off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. That's the thing, you don't wanna use fire on these guys. You really don't. Because as she just mentioned, if it, if it blows up, it hits everyone. What should I try to do? Do I try to heal? Do I try to... It's because that one spiky has the quake. How much does the quake do? Five damage? No, I, I think I'm gonna try Dizzy Dial. Let's 
fuse is lit. Okay. Oh no, and Gumbella's dizzy too. What to do, what to do, what to do. Its fuse is lit. I am worried about Dizzy. Mm. Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor. If I don't tattle all these guys, I'll... Hope this doesn't blow up the bomb, because I think he only does that if it's uh, fire or explosions. Good. And we got rid of the... We got rid of the spiky... Uh, spiky, uh, Parabeetle. That's one less enemy. That's a Poison Pokey. As you probably guess, it's a Poisonous Pokey. HP of 8, attack is 4, defense is 0. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't ch touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Okay, he missed. I have one more turn. So I am going to take the opportunity to sweet treat. I need it. Oh, come on. I only got like four HP out of that. Well, it is what it is. Happy Heart's not helping me. One, hold on. Let's get to Coops. And let's... Let's actually appeal. I got one... No, wait, no. He can attack. He can attack. And he can hit me. Let's get rid of him. At least Mario got some health back. So uh, don't hit the bombs with fire or explosions. Oh look, a dried mushroom. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna eat that and get to 10 HP. Where are we at? Aren't we? I don't. We didn't make. This is like 43, I think. I can't hit the flying paratrooper. Let's just tattle. Actually, I could have saved the tattle. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. HP 6, attack is 4, defense is 0. Its so HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, because it will burn you. And whatever you do, make sure you don't attack it with fire. I mean it. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice, too. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Okay. I am going to just use my normal hand... Yeah, I'm going to use my normal hammer. Oh, he... Oh, no. Hold on. I am at 1 HP. I'm in peril. But I think I could safely get out of here. Hold on. First... I am going to Ice Smash. Okay. 
There we go. We got rid of the fire guy. Ah, dang it! Okay. Ground pound. Can't attack on his back, so that's good. I need to heal. Let's try Sweet Treat. Him getting back up will waste a turn. So. Of course I hit him. Okay. Six health back. Seven. I need more. All right. I am actually gonna let him be. I'm gonna appeal. And he's back up. So sweet treat again. currently at 13. That's pretty good. Near max. So I am going to ground out. And he's at one health. And you know what? Since he's going to be taken down, let's appeal. Now... Yoshi. Good. Okay. That was close. Stupid, like, HP drain item. Oh, look. A pal block. So useful. What floor am I on? Oh, that was 43. I got seven more of these. And we haven't run into another mover. Uh, we are on floor 43, Act 43. 44 now. Actually. Okay. So the Parabuzzies hit hard. They really do. Here's one, and I still need to tattle them. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's go with Goombella. I'm gonna tattle. Let's get this info. That's a spiky pair of Buzzy. It's a Buzzy with a spike and wings. HP of five, attack is three, and defense is four. Hey, the same stats as a normal Buzzy. Fire explosions don't work on Buzzies in case you've forgotten. Ugh, worse yet, this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain. It'd be better off using an item or a special move to take him out. And speaking of special moves, I will do just that. Earth Tremor. There should only be one guy left. If I max this out. Made it. Okay. Yeah. Granted, if I fell that last one, I still probably would have been okay. Yeah, super guard, baby! I didn't need to swap to coops. Or, or even just use the hammer. Either way, I'm fine. 22. We might get a level up in the next fight. Alright, next floor. 45. Oh no, it's another spiky pair of buzzy. 
There's only two. I don't have a way to actually hit them other than Earth Tremor. So, fire doesn't work. You know what? I'm bringing Flurry in here, and we are going to try Gale Force. Well, I got one of them out of here. Okay, um... That might have been a waste. Uh, appeal? Yeah. Spiky Parabuzzies is something I can't actually deal with. Well, oh, that's a lot. Try it though. Try it again. Nope. Okay, that's a lot of FP being used. Um, hammer throw. I gotta get rid of it. I can't run away. Oh look, my defense is increasing, but only for Mario. I... I need the FP back. You know what? Maybe I should've defended, I don't know. I need the FP back. Sweet treat. I should've just used one of my specials. Either Earth Tremor or Art, Art Attack would've worked fine. Well, I got 5 FP back out of that. Mario's at max health. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh, come on! Invisible. Really? I can't do anything now. Uh, I guess I'll... I guess I'll just appeal. Yeah, I'll do it again. Can't do anything. All right. Now we'll hammer throw. At least it's only two FP. Okay. Gale Force really didn't help me. And I need one more fight. Look at that. 99 star points. Oh, the charm has finally run off. Ran out, so I need to reset that. Okay, dried mushroom. Let's just use it. Mario doesn't need it, so we'll hand it to Flurry, I guess. Oh, I could have given it to, like, Goombella or something. What floor am I on now? 45, yeah. <laughs> okay. I came the wrong way with the hammer. Oh, well. Okay. So... What can I do? I could Earth Tremor and just hit them all. I would have to hammer throw no matter what. What arms do I have? Power Block is not going to help me. Thunder Rage would deal 5 damage each. You know what? That's kind of what I'm looking at with Earth Tremor. But I could save that. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and use Earth Tremor. Oh, I didn't realize our attack was 4 SP. Yeah, we're going with Earth Tremor. I mean, our attack is actually really good. Especially 
if you're just thinking, you know what, I'm gonna go for a single target. Instead of all of them. Like, you could get more damage. Okay, we get rid of the Parabuzzy now. Yoshi's gonna get rid of one. There we go. One left. And that was better than going with something else. And you attack Yoshi anyway. You know what? Let's appeal. Because Yoshi's... Uh, Ugum's gonna get the KO anyway. Might as well get my SP back. Oh, I was going to level up anyway. It didn't matter. You see this? More batch points. I was thinking of swapping out my HP plus with defense. Just a straight defense buff. But I wonder if I should hold off until, uh, maybe I should consider holding off on that until, uh, after the pit. Oh, no. Okay. These guys. I gotta play this carefully. And by carefully, I mean Earth Tremor. Good, we got them all. They're not gonna explode. Yeah, I wanted them all out of here. No, I'm not dealing with that. Yeah, I remember that enemy formation. Dizzy dial, okay. We we can use that. That has helped me. Let's get rid of the power block. Coops. I'll let Coops go ahead and shell toss. Now I am going to Ice Smash. Get rid of one. So now there's one left. Missed that timing. That's fine. Okay, now we'll just do normal attacks. Alright, and the normal hammer. Perfect. I know I'm so close. I'm very close. And we haven't gotten a mover yet. Well, dried mushroom, might as well let, might as well heal up Coops. There we go. What floor am I on? No, I'm close. Alright, one more fight. Ah, uh, poison spinies. Oh, 
All right, this this fight is pretty simple. We don't need FP for this. Let's just use my normal hammer, get rid of the poison spine. Then we swap over to Ugum. And this guy can't do anything about it. Now we got it. Oh, there's the regen. <laughs> I might consider dropping the regen badge. Most battles don't last more than one turn now. To where regen hasn't really helped me. I mean, it has helped me before during boss fights, but I don't think it's enough anymore. But now, we have made it to floor 50. It's halfway there, and we open the treasure chest. The strange sack. Now we can carry up to 20 items instead of fifth, what is it, 10 items? It's like double the item space. Oh. We had 15 items. Huh. We can only hold five other items. I thought it was a bigger increase. Yeah, we're done. I wanted to grab that. I wanted to carry more items. That's what I was going in here for, but I thought it was a way bigger increase than what it was. All right, well, either way, more items. Okay, now we're basically gonna start chapter five. I think I'll do some cooking a little bit, but then we'll move on to chapter five. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to reset the curse for Merly. Oh wait, I could go in here now. I forgot about this. Now that I have Vivian. get their spike shield there it is you just needed Vivian cuz I I don't think there's any other way to get all the way over here without Vivian actually could you have made it with Yoshi maybe you could have made it with Yoshi Either way, we got Spike Shield now. Um, however, in the next chapter, maybe Hammer Man might be better for the majority. But I think after this chapter, Spike Shield will become more useful. I'm trying to think of the enemies in the next chapter. And I think we still might be better off with Hammer purely because of, uh... Actually, no. No. You could probably work with it. Alright. Cast me a spell. The special path, because that lasted a very long time. Lasted a long time, and we got two uh, double boss EXP in this playthrough, so that's something. That was worth it. I didn't even get that in uh, the first Paper Mario. I don't think I got a single double EXP from the boss. 
Well, and while we're down here, let's go ahead and trade star pieces. Let's go ahead and do that. I want heart finder. Luckily, I had exactly enough. I'm not going to equip it, but I want it for when I go down to the Pit of Hunter Trials again. Because honestly, after floor 30, I really, I was struggling with HP here and there. All right. And now, oops, I want... You know what? I think we will go to jump, man. Wait, how many... Spike? No, there's there's guys with spikes. Let's go jump, man. Change it up. Tornado jump? Power bounce? Nah, let's just have tornado jump. I don't think I, I need power bounce. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, it can deal additional damage to all middle enemies. Through successful action, action command. Then what's the point of having multi bounce? What's the difference between tornado jump and multi bounce? Huh. Well, we'll keep it like that for now. Uh, okay, so I still have HP plus. I don't need that. I could go with power plus. Just more power. I okay, have the defense boost. Lucky start. No, I'm good. Heartfinder. No. Spike shield. Yes, I will actually need spike shield. If I'm going with jump man, I need spike shield. Or I will want it just, just in general. I have five more. I guess we'll go with power bounce, and I guess I'll throw in. Actually, no. No. I'll throw in the HP. I can have two more. I guess we can keep Happy Heart. It's not hurting anything. What's Chop do? Sure. Alright. Let's see. I want to go make some cooking stuff. What items do I currently have? Let's sort. All right, I have two mushrooms, one honey syrup. I want one more honey syrup and uh, maple syrup. Sorry. Yes, this the first book of Super Luigi. I want it. One more honey syrup. Okay, I'm gonna store uh, gradual and this honey mushroom. What do I have? What do I have in here? Oh, you know what? Let's, let's grab these two out of here. Make some stuff right now, very quick. Oh, hold on. Graffiti quarter. Sometimes I think I'd be better. I'd be better off not e ever speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. Eternally gloomy traveler. Toad Bros Bazaar announces new shipment of bestseller Super Luigi. Get your copy. All right, let's, let's do some cooking. two items. Mushroom. Honey syrup. Okay. There we go. We got another honey mushroom. Let's, let's do that again.
Okay, now I'm gonna fuse my Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly for the ultimate recipe. There we go, we got the Jelly Ultra. Replenishes 50 HP and 50 FP. So good. That's going in storage because I don't need it. That's an overkill item if I ever saw one. Okay. Hold on. So let's throw the Jelly Ultra in there because I don't need it at the moment. We'll keep everything else. I think Twilight Town sells maple syrups. So let's take a quick trip, uh, a quick trip over to Twilight Town. Even though I feel like this pipe isn't that needed, I think it's still faster to use this than to go the normal route. So, it's not the most needed fast travel, but it's definitely useful. Okay. I want two maple syrups. Perfect. Now let's go cook the, uh, let's go cook this up. You know, I'll check uh, the bad shop and also the traveling merchant, but other than that, I think we're good. Two items. Super mushroom, maple syrup. There we go. We got a maple super. Ten and ten. And I'm gonna try making something with the golden leaf by itself. Actually, I know it's probably gonna be used for something, but I forget what. Well, let's see what the golden leaf makes on its own. We get Zest T. You get 20 FP out of this. So it's like the same idea as with the Koopley Leaf. Except way better, but it is definitely out of the way. Okay, what do you have to sell? You know, let's, bu let's go ahead and buy the Timing Tuner just to have it. Mega Rush? Hmm... No. I mean, Shooting Star is really good. Honestly, buying the two, you know, the Jumpman and Hammerman, and then buying the Wario Emblem, that's all I really wanted out of him. Okay, what do we got? Close Call. Power Rush. Last Stand. Power Rush. Another Ice Smash I already have. Drink, sleepy soft, head rattle, make a fuse an enemy. I'll buy that. I have the coin. Let's go P, lucky. Super peel, I don't have super peel. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And you know what? I will throw in super peel, I guess. And I'm using Jumpman, so no head rattle. Tommy Tuner, I don't need that. There we go. And remember, there's one more uh, trouble. 
that you could do, but it requires you going to Hooktail Castle. And I want to save a trip, so I'm going to wait until after this chapter. Hello, Mario. This is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me, well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing all of my all of my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. I'm finally feeling and seeing the results. So it's time for Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help, and she arranged a special exhibition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you at the Glitz Pit. Prepare for a, prin for a, prince, mu a prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure uh, that you have seen me in battle before. So just believe me when I say, I was good. Don't leave me waiting. Great Gonzalez from Prince Mush. It sounds like I was right. It sounds like they added a Prince Mush fight. Oh, do we do that now? No, we'll do chapter five. We'll do chapter five. We'll save it for after chapter five. Though. We'll do that before chapter six. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Oh, Keyhole Key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. See that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trailer. He, he don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Bo Podley's joint, the inn by the square. No matter how no matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to just go poof and get rich, you know? Poof. Keyhole key? That's the cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. What? Keyhole Key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. I bet they met... Uh, I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys are so dumb. Keyhole Key? You mean the island where the treasure hoard of Cortez, the Pirate King, is hidden? So you want the treasure, eh? Fine. But keep an eye out for the Pirate Curse. Or keep an eye out or the Pirate Curse will give you. So we heard about Flavio. Let's go talk to him. Mon monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes. And the freedom and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Ah, uh, what is missing for my from my life? This tears at my very ins. This tears at my very insides. Must know. What do I lack? Romance, definitely. I'd say emotion, probably thrills. Money, maybe. Let's try thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah, uh, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah, uh, no! Foolish Flavio! Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills! Wait, hold the horses. That is it! Now that I'm thinking about it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure, hidden in Key Hall Key? Ah, uh, well, tale, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in, s in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. 
people here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It's because of those very rumors that the people no longer go to Keyhole Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there. Yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is, th what is that you're saying? Talk of legendary treasure here be beneath Rogueport. Why talk so? Why talk so? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot believe each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map. Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keyhole Key. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man! Well, now I'm confused. You were looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. But now, now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such thoughts! Flavio, what you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I can't ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Kiel Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship. <laughs> you unfortunate, foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I have a ship ready to in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as intrepid leader. Now, and yes, and you will be captain. Ah, uh, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Well, let's go to the harbor. Something we could do at the moment. And here we are. Ah, oh, yes, so it's you, huh? Well, sadly, a, sweat, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hall, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailor, sailors. But above all, I can tell you, this proud ship can. Uh, yes, D did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem that has sprung up. I have completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, he's the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The water around Keyhall Key are deathly, are deathly dangerous. We need absolutely skilled, we need an ab absolutely skilled na helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oh, Flavio. Oi, Flavio. I heard you talking there, sir. If you don't, if you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can, you can solve our problem. Then spit it out already. Well, sir. Well, sir. I've, I've heard a talk about a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think his name is called. I think he's called Admiral Barbary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the, the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul once seen him in the seas on the seas of late. Buzz a boom! Problem solved! Let's scout for this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As a customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That will be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? 
No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, aye. This sounds fair, sir. I'm on board. Good plan, should they? Then it's decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring them here. Our fortune sails with you. Eh, nah, being roped into it, huh? I don't get a say in the matter. Oh, well. Let's go find him. We have... N Maybe I should have talked to them and see what they say, but we have no leads on where he's at. We just know he's in town. So, I do know where he's at, though. Not a big deal. Over here. Up here. And let's go down the chimney. What do you blokes want? That's a Balaam sailor. The workers of the dock say his he's some kind of legend. I hear he was a stubborn, but I I heard he was stubborn. But who knew he'd give us this much trouble? Seriously, what do you mean? Come on, let's go to his back room. Shine spray. Now we'll talk to him. You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the jet. Take your search to elsewhere. Now, away with you! Take your search elsewhere. That's all we got. Does she say... No, she doesn't say anything different. Well, at least the door's unlocked now. Uh, okay. I forget the order. Oh, we have to go to Podley first. I might have jumped ahead. We were probably always supposed to go here first. Alright. I'm a bomber. Yeah, yeah, I know them. You know that house just past the wall on the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think you both... I think you both and he would be better off if you just let him be. I, th I think both you and he would be better off. Okay. I'm a bobbery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say the same thing? Okay. I think I was supposed to talk to him first. Now I talk to Admiral Bobbery. Now that we know that he is, in fact, Bobbery. Again, I think I did step three before step two. Now we talk to him. Okay. I'm a bobbery. I have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Don't play dumb with us. We already know. We were already told that you are Admiral Bombery. Oh, but Poppycock, tell me. What what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job. So sorry, but you have to look elsewhere. I shall not. I shall sail. Set sail upon the sea nevermore. But look, we're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide our ship to Keelhaul Key. This is serious stuff. I'll feel sorry, dear fellows. But when I say no, what I mean is no. That's a... Uh, she says the same thing. Okay. Away with you. Now I think we... Oh, okay. Darn, what do we do, Mario? That guy doesn't seem too stoked to come with us. Know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weirded out about the sea anyway? We gotta find someone who knows this guy and finds out what his malfunction is. And go back to the bar. Back to the bar. And we'll just leave. You say Bobbery won't go to the sea, huh? Oh, well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Mm -hmm. oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key. Rough seas out there. No sailors would meet their end. No Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, 
I remember Valerie's tales is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying. But I'll tell you, if you really want me to. In that case, get ready. Valerie's tale of woe goes something like this. Valerie was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Balmary was a renowned sailor, so he was a he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Balmary's return. Balmary, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. And all good things can last. It was a particularly icy, icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Balmary, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Balmary, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting him, sleep, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer! I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all, you all know his tale, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? We don't have a choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined. I'll give you this. That old letter from Scarlet to Barbary before she departed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Barbary a final letter. You hold it in your you hold it in your hands. I don't know what's lit, written inside, but I could tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death. Then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter, and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podly, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You'll feel, you feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Let's go deliver that letter. Too far. What? Oh, by Blabberton's beard! Not you again! No matter how many times you entreat, entreat me, my sense is firm. Now away with you. Barley? A letter, you say? For, for me? <laughs> what? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love. My love, if you are reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you were to blame you you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg you remember that time, like love is a tide. Like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both your love both your life's loves. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. A thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please. Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Keyhole Key? Oh, yeah. 
If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Emerald Bombery, yes! The ship's in, in the harbor, hmm? I must expect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. I do think that little backstory was done well enough. The music helps. Granted, I don't think it ever comes up again, so... That's all it is to it, though. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back and play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like, a place nobody's ever seen? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, please play with me, okay? You have to promise. And you see, Petuni has an egg here. That's actually, uh... If you, if you do go back and, like, play a little game with her, she will give you an egg like that, and that's useful for me. I knew you would get Bobbery on board. You wonderful mustache man, you! To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well! My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparation, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Very well. To the sea, raise anchor, and set sails for thrills and emotion, and romance, and money. Our destination is Dread Keyhole Key. Wait up! Off the seven seas! Off for adventure! This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. I mean, kind of hard to notice, honestly. Chapter 5, The Key to Pirates. A spy, you say, among our crew? Never. Month Star, Day X Zero. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. It is this voyage as reckless as they say? Uh, I must scoff. Flavio, I will... Flavio will show them guts. Month star, day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is... It is as they... As if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. There would never be a spy amongst our ranks. This is all trustworthy people. Month, star, day, X, music note. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull, captains cast his gaze. Red jewel shines and plays. Boom, bossa, boom, festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three, ti three times red, Stash lands on its end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom! At the Boom Bossa Boom Festival. I don't know if that works well as lyrics, but whatever. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no? The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smel smelled, for I knew I prevent smiled, even though I prevailed. I had the beast licked, for I am Flavio. He was a giant, massive, a huge drink of a man-eater. But even now, you know, 
could take him, yeah. I could take him, yes. Where was I? Oh, yes, yes. And then he repeats. <clears throat> Great, he started again. A tale of bravery. Right, I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you're interrupted in mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Uh, why is the... What? Wait. What's going on here? The ship stopped. Oi, Master Flavio. I feel sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah, stopped, you say, to me. After interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it is your job to keep the sheep ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you, I am not so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate I'll investigate it right quick. Wait a tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Uh, ah! There, here. What's the ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what's going on? Oh. No, no, no! They're upon us. The p -p 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 pirate go ghosts. Oh, the rumors were true. Uh, uh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Ah! Do, do, do not panic yourselves. This is all just a dream that we are all having. Awake. And now, quickly move the boat. Ooh. Oh, ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Hey, help me. Back up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy. Or, what? Ah! Bobbery, no! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line without shoving, shoving right after... Ah, me! Wow! Hey, we must get out of here! Abandoned ship! Every rich marvelous merchant for himself! Man, sunk the ship. Is he dead? Maybe he is dead. Who knows? Maybe we never see him again. Month star, day X star. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us, ash washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island, Kihal Key, was our intended destination all along, all along no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. I think, I think he's dead. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King. That ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be, we may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Month, star, day, X, heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam wa washed in, and now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what, what I ask? Month, star, day, circle, circle. We built a few huts from the washed-up timber timbers. Ah, oh, poor sweet XX Flavian. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. 
We still have no sign of Bobbery and the others, and my heart she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Month, day, month star, day, circle, X. Three days on the aisle now, and the hut are, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Roqueport. I was going to say, there seems to be a consistent way with the days of the week. It's, uh, you know, it was like X, no, it was circle X, uh, star, music note, and then heart. But then as we saw, when it swapped over to circle, that would be backwards on, the, like, the... So, yeah, I don't know if there is a consistency. I think they're just making stuff up. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a, a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Oh. We're trapped here. On, a, on Key Hall Key, with no way back to Roqueport. Whatever shall we do to escape? We may be stuck here forever. The Thousand Year Door may never open. Oh, hey, it's a Wacka. Wacko! I'm Wacka. We got some good weather today, right? Right. Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Wackadoo! Wacko! Direct hit! And we got a Wacka's bump. 25 HP and FP. It's a good item. Uh, don't abuse him too much. <laughs> Eventually, he'll. I think he'll just stop. Uh, why would you do that for the Wacka's bump? It's a useful healing item. <laughs> Captain, please help us. Flavio and Papatch are in a huge fight. <laughs> and what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. D did you just call me the great Fa Flavio, fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants! Why, you little cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy dread thing. Threads. They're here! C -c -c Captain Stash, D them ghosts are back. Well, gotta fight. But Mario, fr front and center, this is a or 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 order. Take, take care of those ghosts. There we go. Can't flee. But if they're anything like the fire... Oh, wait, I have... I don't have ice smash. Never mind. Let's get Goobo in here. This is actually a fight I was worried about. Maybe I should have kept Hammer Man. That's an Ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. HP of 8. Attack is 3. Defense is 0. Of course, since... This thing is a flame. Touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Here's another thing you should know. Something horrible is likely to happen if you attack with fire. Looks like it, it is susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though. So. so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire. So try to guard well. Uh, okay. Uh, I actually have no way to hurt it. Because I decided to swap to Jumpman. Let's see... Good shooting. Oh, he has Bushi. I love him throw. Mm. You know what? Heart attack. Uh, too big of a circle. Yeah, you want to create a circle around them. There we go. Our attack is way better. But that costs four. If I didn't tattle, I could have 
Earth Tremored, and then Power Shelled. Uh, yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate, no? There are sh surely more of them elsewhere. Ah. So someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what's what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, on this, I broke I broke no argument. Ah, yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you can handle the expl exploration of this island. Ah, uh, sure. That's that is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. This is the sh this is a shanty town built by Patch and some of the sailors who came with us. Blue ocean, sandy beaches, a shop, an inn. You can live pretty com comfy here. You'd always have to worry about harmful UV rays, though, you know. The eastern end of the island seems awfully mysterious. Good luck, Captain Stash. That's Patch, the bomb. He's a salty old sailor and totally the solid deckhand. I heard he built all these shanties by himself, too. Still, he's afraid of ghosts. Ah, uh, what's gonna happen to all of us? That's a toad sailor. He was with us on the ship. You remember. He seemed like a hard worker. Doesn't he look reliable? Hey, did you find anything? You gotta find a way back to, uh, for us to get back home. That's a bob -omb sailor. He's one of the guys who came with us. You think bob -omb sailors have trouble getting their fuses with their fuses getting wet? So what have you found? Hmm. Anything exciting? We all cheer. We all cheer you, Captain. That's an entrepreneur, Fl Flavio. He calls himself the leader of this group. He's a funny enough guy, but he mostly loafs around and makes folks do all do his work. Not much of a leader, huh? But what a dresser! Let's see. What do we got in here? Having ice storms is not the worst idea. Oh wow, you could get uh, maple, not maple syrups, honey syrups for three here. Uh, what was I going to do? I'm going to put the wacko stuff in storage, because I don't think I need it. But I think I will need it for like cooking stuff eventually. What we got in here in the end? It may not look like much, but we're very proud of our sea, uh, seaside shanty. And I'd say it's ten coins. I'll pass. Come back anytime, Captain. That's a toad girl. She runs the end of sorts in, the, of, in this tent. It may totally, it may look totally budget, but this is real business. This is a real business. Alright. Let's go explore the island. This is a totally thick jungle. The flora of this area is unique to tropical regions. Interesting remix. Wait, have we fought these guys already? Green ones? Yeah, we have. So let's see, what can I do? With Jump Man, I think I deal enough in a normal attack, so. Yeah, there we go. I think it will just attack like normal for now. Not a bad remix. Not my favorite, but not a bad one. So far, Chapter 3's remix is not my favorite. Anything in this tree? We got a Keel Mango with 5 HP. We can use that for cooking. And look, another head rattle. I didn't I guess I didn't need to buy the one in the shop. Oh well. Okay, well, one's gonna survive. If I swap to, eh, let's have Vivian do something. Only four damage, I forgot. Yeah, Ugump would have been better. But this works out. That's kind of what I was hoping for, but I thought she would do. I thought Vivian would do five damage. 
Oh well. Oh, Kirk's out. Sweet. Let's see. Get rid of you. Oh, you have to sleep the sheep. Hmm. What can I do? I could sleepy stomp. You know what? Let's try tornado jump. Wait. Extra damage to all mid-air foes. I'm still gonna try it. I wanna test it out. Okay, yeah, it only works on other mid-air foes. Okay, good to know. Yeah, let's just... Let's just give it a view. Yeah, I don't want to be put to sleep. Zap tap works really well against fuzzies. Look at that. Couldn't do anything. Okay, what's next? Should be a piranha plant here, yeah. A mini Mr. Mini. Now, I do have jump shield, or spike shield, so I can hit these guys. Okay, first, let's, let's tattle. Alright, that's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That color is totally sickly. HP of 8, attack of 3, defense of 0. It bites, and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint, table fl taper flower. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly go down. So, you know, try not to. So, I can't take them out in one hit. Power jump makes it to 7. Uh, let's use Sleepy Stomp on one of them. There we go. Got super guard going, good. So Kumbella needs to swap to... Actually, it doesn't really matter. Okay, wait a minute. Vivian does four damage. Koops does, what, three? So I think Vivian's stronger here. I might as well just get this KO. And we're done. Sleep Stomp is still fun to use. But if we that, there we go. Right, I could, I could just jump on it. Oh well. So I can put one to sleep. Sleep and stop. And I can get rid of the front future piranha. There you go. And of course you're gonna multiply. Of course he is. Uh I'm just gonna have to go after the fuzzies for a second. Uh, 
Oh well. Shade Fist will go attack the Fuzzy. I messed that up. I guess. Wait, how much damage did it deal? Oh, it's still dealt four damage. Is it because... Oh, succeeding would give the fire effect? Is that what it is? Well, either way. There we go. And the Brown Plant is still asleep. Oh wow, the regen actually took effect. There we go. A star piece. Didn't even know that was there. Okay, I need Yoshi. Yeah. What's that do? Oh, what? They added that. That's new. That's a new thing. Oh, that is so nice. It saves on, like, some backtracking that we're going to have to do. Thanks, developers. You're saving the backtracking. Well, the piranha plant is... I'm going to put it to sleep. Seems like a good strategy right now. And then I'll just... Weaken the one in the back. And then if they attack Mario, they're gonna get shocked. The one in the back should... I'm still worried if I fight the ghost, though. I don't really have a way to deal with them. I'm basically gonna have to use Art Attack to get rid of them. Right. We got Thunder Rage. It hits all enemies. Curse Ghost blast it all! But my bubble bump uh blubberies blotches! Is that Mario over there? You are alive, oh boy! Right, you came in just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. Huh? Well what about you, Admiral? You gotta get out of here too! Just leave it to me, eh? I will keep these no ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order. Let me do what I must do. Now, away with you! Man, he chucks both of them over his shoulder. Ah! Well, Bowery here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? He just lifts up stuff. Okay. I forgot he does that. Oh, Bowery, please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you, and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Gone, eh? Excuse me, but I better be going also. And hey, you out there looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario. Or else. Looking at the screen? Is that guy lost it or what? <laughs> Bringing the fourth wall. Alright. We're in the jungle on Keelhaw Key. It's complex. Switch back paths and stuff. Let's keep our eyes open as we explore this place. You never know what might pop out. Wow, nice rope bridge, huh? I don't think I'll be looking down while we cross, though. 
Being able to see the water through the through the slats make my belly go bleh. Well, hang on, I'm a little woozy. I might faint. Now, before we continue, hold on. If we get to the other side, you see a badge down there. There we go. Ice power. That's what I need. I had. I don't. I, I don't need chill out. So we'll unequip that. Ice power. Now I can jump on those fire guys. Now I'm a true jump man. Nothing can stop me now. Uh, I'll grab it on the way back. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So this is how the legend of the sea meets his end, eh? We're in the jungle of Kihoki, and a fairly deep part of it is that, at that. Lots of rocks in different sizes, too. Oh, I gotta see what's in the bushes. Let's stop, let's stop these ghosts. And now with my ice power, I can deal with them myself. Let's see. I don't know how much damage I could actually deal to them. I don't know how good multi-bounce is actually gonna be. I still think it's single target. You know what, let's just, let's just test things out. Hold on. Okay, they are straight up just weak to it, so it adds extra power because of the ice. Okay, uh, let's just go poops. I can't do anything else. Didn't time it right, but he gets hurt by zap tap. Well, that worked out. Sadly, if I went with multi-bounce, it would only deal four damage. So it's not that great. Man, it feels like Koops is underpowered. I think if you had ice power even with the hammer, now you're regular hammer attacks are now ice based and if that's true then you don't need ice smash oh the pain of it all oh mario oh boy Ugh. <coughs> i guess those blokes got a, got me a bit better than i thought mario please hear my last request I must thank you for taking me out to see you one last time. But there is one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chuck Cola, Cola. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam dri drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I must have just one sip before my final voyage, hack! <laughs> Ugh, give me that Chuck Cola, Cola, oh boy. This final request, one final drink. We must honor it. Huh, okay. That's an interesting, I, I think minor detail change. It's minor, I'm pretty sure it'll go back. All right, we gotta head all the way back to where Flavio is, where the main group is. But first, we want to go over here, go down this pipe, go ahead and grab yourself a coconut. How much space, how much item space do I have? Let's grab the other one. I'm going to throw one of them in storage, because I think it's going to be needed for cooking. Maybe. In case it is, I'm, you know, just gonna throw it in there. But we're gonna need a coconut. Like, it's obvious about coconuts, like, it's, in, you know, in the background. Like, it's not hard to spot, right? But the mangoes is something I easily miss. 
Well, for now, sleepy, sleepy stomp. If you ground pound the green one, you'll get the KO. Yeah. Want to do that before he multiplies. The flower Fuzzy should just get hurt. Right. Now. Yeah. You and Ugum can take the flower fuzzy. There we go. Oh, double coins. I mean, I guess that's helpful. Okay. Actually, it's like triple coins. It's a lot of coins, though. So it's not that bad. Thanks for that spring. It's going to make backtracking go a lot faster. Let's see if I can skip past some of these enemies. This area is kind of known for his backtracking. Not as bad as Chapter 4, but the backtracking back and forth to Bomberry is uh, not that great. Ah, you are still alive. Well, we have some fortune left. Such a relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. No, no, wait. Wait one moment. Am I wrong? Or are we short one minute? Or are we still one minute short? Th th that's right. But Babamari sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we gotta go back and help him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouths? The Emerald lives. What fortitude? Mario, front and center. I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? Uh, but, er, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Emerald may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish. Ah, uh, so what are we doing he with here is a sort of last request. Am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach. But for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, er, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I'll need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Mm, yes. I'm sure there is something in this island that would be, that, that would be a suitable replacement. I feel like in the original version, he was way more hesitant on giving the Chocola Cola, but I couldn't remember. Make it good. I am the editor of Floppish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. Let's give him a coconut. Ah, ha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliché. Ah, well, perhaps I have set my hopes too high for a foraging non-gourmet such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola, and give my regards to the Admiral. Um, oh, that's not it. Fabio's Trevor be treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Don't waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all the fine fizziness. Let's go ahead and put the coconut, and I think we'll put the mango in storage. Yeah, coconut doesn't actually do anything by itself. Think that's just a normal mushroom for the mango. 5 HP. We could probably just grab another one right now. Pretty sure the mango's used for something that we might need for a tattle. I'm not sure. Yeah, got another one. So there we go. I want to keep one in the storage. Alright, head back to Bobbery. Thank you, Spring, for existing. You make me avoid a couple fights and some annoying, some annoying platforming. Let's go see what Bobbery. Uh, let's go give Bobbery his final wish. Hush. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
before I do that. That's Admiral Bombery. He came with us on the ship. Don't you remember? He washed ashore with the rest of us, but he seems hurt. Do you think he's doing okay? There we go. Now we give him a Chocolo call. Hmm. Oh, that d d distinctive uh, bouquet. You. You've brought it. Uh, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Oh, there's a trumpet. I don't remember that song. I don't remember the song. This might be new. We just leave him be. Wait a minute. This is Mario. No one dies. Oh, oh, oh what? Yubby, yubby. Pirates. Where are those pirates? Bobbery. He's still kind of out of it, I think. What now? Oh, Mario, old boy. It's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. You're still alive, you zany old coot. Ah, uh, hmm, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? All right. Now I recall, Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality would be rather useful, eh? And we got Bomberry as a party member. Press X. Press and release X to throw Bobbery, who will then walk a few steps and explode. He used his explosions to destroy cracked rocks and blast open cracked walls and activate switches. Use X to toss Bobbery and destroy the cracked rock with an explosion. With proper aim, you can toss him up to higher elevations. Toss Bobbery onto the high ledge to activate the switch. You can press X to basically speed up the explosion. If he hasn't exploded yet, you can press X to trigger his explosion right away. Don't forget that option. Okay. And I've mastered them. While in battle, he can attack enemies on the ground with bomb. He also uses Bomb Squad to toss out bombs that will explode when the following turn ends. So when I compare him with Bombette in the first game, I prefer Bombery, but that's mainly because his natural attack is an explosion. Whereas with Bombette, her natural attack is a, uh, you know, basically a body slam. Basically almost no different from Cooper. But not as good. If you want to have Bombette explode, you have to spend FP for that. And there was, if I'm correct, there were still benefits for exploding on enemies. But having to spend F FP for it wasn't a fan. That's why I prefer Bobbery. Out of the two. At least battle-wise. Alright. Actually, now I'm... Now I'm here. Hold on. Let's get Goombella back out. That's the timid toad, uh, timid toad sailor. He came looking for his brother who was lost at sea, and now he is too. This guy's called Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors who came along to Key Hall Key. He, it's the weirdest thing. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Maybe I'm just losing it. It is Bobbery. Welcome back to you. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here. But who worries for Flavio? No one. 
Do you know how hard it, that is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence! I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to. So in, in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier, there was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. We call it an old sea bomb's intu intuition, but that sc skull rock smells suspicious. <laughs> hey, Bobby, you want to know what literally smells suspicious? What really su smells suspicious? Flavia's armpit. Oi, smells like low tide. <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone can figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious? I was already saying in my head that the treasure had is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make many, so many requests, but you know. Flavio, you old cash gr uh, grubbler. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, uh, Admiral, you see, I... Oh, yes, you have. Let's decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate to investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes. Yeah, take it, please. Have fun out there, jerk. Off with you. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, no, not fair. Flavio, Flavio hates you all. <laughs> A little jingle. I don't remember that one being the original. All right. I'm going to make a save. I'm going to step away for just a minute. I want to refill my water. And maybe I'll let my dog outside just in case. It's been a little bit. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. It seems like my dog does not need to go outside. She's just kind of chilling. Watch. In five minutes, she'll want to go out. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to the end of the jungle again. And if we use Yoshi, Flavio has to jump on my back, too. Yoshi has a lot to carry... He has a lot on his back right now. Ooh, Gump, you got this. It's not hard for you. Come on. By the way, how many Shine Sprites do I have now? I have six. Okay. go. We made it. Let's get Bob out here. Ah, now what is all this? A dead end? Taunting Flavio with its with its dead endness? But, hmm. Is this... I think this is the Skull Rock Bobbery blabbered on about. 
Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let's plunge into this puzzle. Let's see. I say this lock looks like a fiendish gr uh, grinning skull, and there's a spot you can insert something. Mario, oh boy. I got a gut feeling that Flavio's gem might fit in that eye hole. What is that you asking me? You want Flavio to lend you something. Is this correct? Now, what can I possibly have that you would need such anxious anxiousness? Chocola Cola. What? You want me to give you the Chocola Cola? Huh, I'm gonna scoff at you. You asked too much, little man. Wait, I already gave that to you, you rat. Coins? What? You want me to lend you coins? You poor pauper! I must scoff at you! What on earth do you need coins for on a deserted island anyway? Hmm. Think before you speak, you foolish, foolish thing. Think! Skull gem. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it? This is a heirloom of the House of Flavio, you know? Well, I suppose it is all right, because I am Flavio. He he of such ludicrous wealth. I, I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock peg. Pride of Flavio's family, can it be... Can it be set into the Skull Rock? Wait a minute. He just said do not run off with it. Hold on. I have to know. If I leave the area, does he yell at me? No? Well, it's not like I have much places. It's not like I have many places to run off to. Well, I tried. Remember, I'm merely loaning you the skull gem. Okay. Ah, there we go. I feel like in the original they always were facing forward like this, but I could be misremembering. Red jewel shines the plays. Three times red stash land on its head, and then four on the on the blue. Do you think it's a missed opportunity that it wasn't a green one over here? I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Hammer away. Remember, only a real jump man can do this. And a hammer man. Not anyone can just do this puzzle. Such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm. Huh? What? Ah! My skull gem! M -m Mario! What were you thinking? That gem was part of the House of Flavio! Phew. Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My, jolly my jolliness has no end! Well then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavia must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Let's go. Let's start exploring the pirate's cave. Month, star, day, circle, note, music note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the pirate king's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Pirate's Grotto. Alright, Goombella. This is the entrance to the Pirate's Grotto. There's gotta be something good in there. Considering how hard it is to get in, there sure as heck better be. Make a save, because why not? Ooh. We're inside the Pirate's Grotto. Looks like we could go down from here. 
Aside from jump pads, there's not much else here. Nothing else here, yeah. Yikes! Talk about unsteady footing. You can totally wipe out easily here. Oh, and watch out for those spikes that pop out, okay? They would probably hurt. Oh, I gotta jump on them. I keep forgetting I can jump on them. Okay, now that we have Bobbery, we can now deal with these guys a lot easier. Alright, first let's jump on this guy in the back. These guys are weaker than the ghost ones, the, the blue ones. Bobbery, do your thing! Five damage. Okay. I think that means he naturally does four. Kind of wish he was more powerful, but, you know, when these guys are weak to explosions, I think it's probably good enough. It doesn't really matter which one I target, does it? No. Okay, Bomberie, do your thing. Bomberie really needed to be powered up, didn't he? Too bad we can't go back to Rogue Court. It almost looks like there's a different timing, or there's now, like, a new little animation for me to tell the better timing, I think. Either way, level up. Perfect. More batch points! Come on. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of coins. Okay, what can I equip? So I could equip Power Bounce again. No hammer stuff. I could equip HP Plus. I could unequip HP Plus and equip Power. Or Defend. Might not need luck, happy heart. The flower heart finder. Okay, actually, hold on. Happy heart. Let's unequip that. Do I want heart finder? Sure. Wait, no. I mostly don't need this. So let's go with, I guess, Defend Plus. Get some extra defense. We could use Vivian. But if you go into Tube, you can make it all the way there. I bet you can make it all the way with the Yoshi, too. You don't go into battle with those right away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, one damage. All right. Let's get uh, Gumbella out of here. Nope. Tattle. That's a Bill Blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bills. HP of five, defense is two. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the bill blaster first. Trust me. Uh, how many of those things will it shoot at us? They're so annoying. Alright. Well, it has defense. Um, I think we're better off with power jump, actually. There we go. Go ahead and tattle the bullet bill. That's 
That's a bullet bill. It, it attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. HP at two, attack is four, defense is one. Take care of it quickly, or it'll totally wail into you. Mosh pit style. There we go. I want to make sure to not get that. Okay, what am I doing? Just attack. So he already has a defensive two. How much damage does Bovary deal to him? It should just be two, right? Yeah. It might have. I could have used FP to use power jump and get the KO. I do think the bullet bills might be weak to Gale Force. If you really need to get them out of here. You could probably go that route. Alright, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, there's a barrel there. It's been a while since we saw the fish. There we go. Oh, you. Don't use Bob Marie against you. Should've jumped on you. Oh, well. Okay, let's just attack the one in the back. All right, you do have one point in defense. I can't use a gun, but I think we'll go with... Oops. There we go. We'll get him next turn. Oops, go ahead and take care of this. This one. These guys can be a pain if you don't deal with them right away. You don't want them to explode. You really don't. Unless you have, like, uh, you could probably go with Out of Sight or... I, I mean, Veil. Man, I wish it was Out of Sight. We're inside the Pirate's Grotto. Pirates must have built the bridges and a uh, sluice gate here. Uh, there's also a waterfall flowing from above. Careful not to lose your footing. Yes, more ghosts. Mario could take him down by himself. Who needs Bobbery? We have ice power. Save. We don't need the healing. Did I? It's totally weird to walk around down here. I mean, pirates lived here. The scourge of the seas. I wonder where their souls are wandering now. I'm pretty sure I just like killed like some of their wandering souls. And look, another shine sprite. There we go. So, we need to go here. Good review. Lugump will be very good here. What's that? Let's get Lugump in here. It'll be better than anything else. Get 
There we go. Easy. Boat mushroom. Well, I guess I have it now. Bombery. Hit the switch for me. And also, with Bombette, you just placed her on the ground. I don't think you actually threw her. Ooh, turn back. Ooh, go no farther, or you will never leave. Hey, look, it's another pink one. Time to use explosions, am I right? I'm gonna have to go with power jump or sleep. Let's go power jump. Yeah, power jump is one thing. To get. Okay. Ah, oh, now they're frozen. That's nice. Poops can take care of the one in front. Careful, there's the three there's the two poison mushrooms there. I think we could just normal jump. Save the FP. There we go. Go, Coops. You got this. Dodge P. That's that's an extra badge. If I was doing partners only, you know, I'd probably go that route. But nope, not doing that. Okay, I need. Hold on, I need coops set up like this. Let's get Yoshi here. This is only, this is a timed thing. There we go. We got the grotto key. Don't think there's any reason to go back here. This is a storage area. Looks like the pirates left tons of stuff here. The switch in front of there lifts and lowers cargo. Where's that the pirates grotto? Pirates have, uh, pirates must have built the bridges and sluice. Oh, it's the same room, duh. It's the same room, so she says the same thing. Nope, not what I meant to do. I want to swap. All right. Let me head down here. Key. We get to continue. Oh wow, Pharaoh Buzzies. Well, let's just find like normal, I guess. I'll just knock some of them down off like this. One is gonna attack me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I'll try. Nope, wrong one. I want. Either one, either way, one's gonna attack me. Right. 
now I'm gonna have Mario attack this guy. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that takes care of him. Ooh, Gumba's gonna weaken the other one and get him on the ground. There's that. And he'll die next turn. Or, you know, I could have used Earth Tremor. I'm getting a defense boost. On a turn where I'm not even going to be attacked. Thanks, game. Thanks for that. What a waste of a special. What a waste. And I could have just used Earth Tremor the entire time. Speed it up. Ah, yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> Earth Tremor it is. Made it. Yeah, I'm just not gonna deal with this. Get all, all of you, get out of here. See, Earth Tremor is still useful, like, throughout the entire game. Still has a lot of uses. Oh, hey, a uh, tasty tonic. Well, luckily, there's only one of them. Get out of here. Alright. Oh, uh... Coops. Shine Sprite, pro please. Way. Do that. There we go. Shine Sprite. You know, with this spiked section, I thought you had to use Vivian, but no, you could just go this. Go to two. Man, a lot of Shine Sprites. Am I winning? I, I, I think I am winning. Oh, you went all along. How'd that go, Act? Jumping around on barrels and sinking, uh, sinking ship fragments. This is pretty gnarly. So let's take it easy and not get too careless, okay? There's a shine spray here. Molly, what? What is it? You want attention? Is that what you, you, are you being needy here? Come here. My dog wants attention. You want attention. Oh. It's hot over there. Yeah. Right now it's raining over here, so it's actually pretty cool. Right, Molly? Watch out for those spikes. Yeah, the thing about spikes is they really hurt. I mean, that is so very true, unless you have spike guard. 77. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty hot. Uh, over here, once it's like summer, it can be around 90. But... Sometimes it could get around 95 to close to 100, but that's more on the upper side, I guess. Right, Molly? Right. It gets too hot for you, though. You tire out very easily when we go on walks. Right. My dog just wants attention. She wants attention, because she's a needy dog. She's very needy. Right. Right. You're just very needy. You already ate your bone up, didn't you? You already finished your bone. Well, that's on you. I'm not getting you another one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Alright. Let's see. Continue on through the Pirate's Cove. Grotto. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, pretty simple. We'll let Mario take down the blue one. That has the chance to power up one of his own party. And waste a turn, I guess. Red Bobbery. Sadly, it's not a one-hit KO. Getting the timing wrong. Yeah, so far we're kind of at the point where I have so many badges to work with that I'm not really scared of, like, almost any enemy. Now, Pit of 100 Trials, we were having trouble, sure. But as in general, I'm kind of... I got a lot to work with. There we go. Two attacks, though. I don't think they can be frozen, I guess. There we go. I got the timing right. Normal jump, and we're done here. Again, if there is a cap for badges, I don't know what it is. I have never hit it before. There we go. Then we move on. Bella, what do you got to say about this room? We're inside the Pirate's Grotto. It's a long... This is a long corridor. There are two Bill Blasters at the end of this corridor, too. They don't want... They don't want us here. I don't know if it matters who I have on me. Okay, we want to go with... We want to go with Power Jump. Now, does Bomberry work against these guys? Yeah, they do. Yeah, he does. It's the same power as uh, Koops, though. In that case, it doesn't really matter who I attack. There we go. Wow, a lot of coins. I mean, the pirates just must have a lot of treasure if, like, normal enemies give me this many coins. Alright, same strategy. Power jump. And then just start using explosions. Yeah. I think I'm okay with jumping. Oh no, I should have power jump. Never mind. <laughs> He's frozen. Okay. There we go. Normal jump will do it. We got flower points. We got flower back. Whatever. Ooh. What's down here? Nothing. Nothing can do. Dang, I get the first. I did not get the first strike. How many of them are there? Ooh, there's four of them. I don't like this. I'm getting them all out of here. Get out of here. I don't have the HP to survive an explosion from all of you. I can't tank that. A 
Again, you could let them explode and then just fail. But that would take a few turns. It's a good thing Earth Tremor ignores defense. No, I'm trapped. Wait, did I have Kumbella tattle this room? We're inside the Pirate's Grotto. There's a sunken ship here. Maybe there's something good inside, because that's how it all always is in video games, right? Where else to look? We can't get back. Power down, defense up. Okay. We got a super mushroom. York. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Something good is about to happen indeed. Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a second. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked in here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met. Are you serious? So, you're saying that you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy. You know that. Mario agrees. Okay, fine, 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 fine! I get the picture, okay? Sheesh! All I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that too much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know how, what the key looks like. Mr. Seen it all already. Some ghost here has it. So just beat him and get it in. And we'll get this farce over with. Come on now. I'm waiting. Oh, I'm being raided! How's it going, Sinful? Okay, for some reason... Oh, I see the problem. Okay, the... The little, uh... The video didn't pop up in front. It was behind the video. I need to fix that. It's been a while since I've been raided. Since I had that alert. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what this is. I needed to move it up. My bad. That is an audio clip from... I think it's Dynasty Warriors 3? There we go. So next time I get raided, that should be in front. Anyway. What's been going on, Sinful? What were you playing? Just did the Water Temple and Tears of the Kingdom. Very nice. Is it a first playthrough or just for fun? I gotta fight ghosts. While this is not a first playthrough of Thousand Year Door, because I've played the GameCube version many times, this is obviously a first playthrough of the remake. I got that timing wrong. Fun second playthrough? I see. But yeah, have you played Thousand Year Door yourself, Sinful? See, can I get a bingo? Bingo! Full recovery! And I'm gonna get a level up in like one more battle too. I have not too planned on getting it though. It's a fun game! Although I do question some censorship choices, but like, still. Good games. Good game. Definitely highly recommend playing it. And I want Paper Mario to go back how it used to be, so that's another reason why I bought this one. Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo You got the key. Party time! Now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. <clears throat> Wee! Fools! <laughs> the dialogue here is great. You do 
You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I am so evil. Bathe in the foul, awful... Wait, what was... What was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rule the day you open this chest of doom. Now you wretched, now you wretched guy. B B E C U R S E D. <laughs> now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Can we just burn the next chest? I mean, this is the last one, as far as I'm aware. Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? <laughs> good. Squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the panel will feel, uh, feel your curse and glow. Yes, stand here, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper boat. Wee! <laughs> oh yes, such suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. Wee! <laughs> you float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. You can't control your paper boat self with the left stick. I will allow you to be the master of your shameful buoyancy. I think we just do this for a little bit. There we go. When you want to unboat yourself, approach the panel and press Y. Try it now. Yes, your pain is like a tasty uh, banquet to me. Now do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I, I feel better. I mean, he, he had this plan for like a thousand years or whatever, you know. I mean, you, know you, you gotta let him have it, you know. Oh, well, I say, that cursed chap seems ladder, rather a bit of... Wait. That cursed chap seems a ra rather a bit of all right, eh? That's rather a bit of all right. That's a weird line. I... Anyway, now that we're cursed for the fourth and final time, we are paper boats now. We can head back. Actually, now that I think about it, is there something behind there? At least the fish is not going to, like, chomp at me. Okay, there's a bunch of coins back here. That's about it. But now we can explore more of the pirate cave. I don't think there's... I mean, we still got a little bit of Chapter 5 left, but I don't think it's much more. I mean, that uh, getting the curse was kind of a big factor, wasn't it? Oh no, giant bomb! I don't remember this. I don't remember the sneak attack, honestly. Okay, I can't flee. It is better for me to get rid of the bomb right now. Actually, no, it wasn't. He was just not going to do anything. Okay, the whole arena is covered in mist. And if you use an explosion, it gets rid of all the mist. Of course, they can't be frozen. There we go. We got the super guard off. And it worked out. But I should have left the bomb alive. He wasn't gonna explode right away. There we go, and we gotta level up. But what shall I choose? Oh, I know! More badges! The badges will never stop being gained as far as I'm aware. 
As far as I know, there's no cap. Oh, hey, more coins. I thought, like, another cutscene was going to activate or something. That's a lot of coins! Anyway, what can I equip? Let's see. I have Jumpman. I could equip Power Bounce. Another HP, but I don't think I need that. Uh, I could save for a Power Plus. Don't need that. Happy Hearts. Heart Finder? Sure. We'll put Heart Finder in for now. I think next level up, I'll unequip Heart Finder and we'll go with uh, Power Jump. Power Boost, I mean. But yeah, as far as I know, this is the fourth and final curse. Because if there's more added, I don't know about it. I'm still curious on if they added anything for post-game. Because as far as I know with post-game, all it really was was Pit of 100 Trials. And you could do that at any time. Is there a secret here? Hold on. I thought there might have been like a secret room. And you just can't see it. Because this room is very weird. There's no, uh, there's no, uh, bombable wall, I don't think. Okay. As far as I know, this is just as is, nothing else here. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna save. Alright. And we need to go up here. Right? I think we need to go up here. Yeah, there we go. Turn to boat! But before we go down the waterfall, let's go back this way. Because you know, there's always something hidden behind the waterfall. And what do we have here? So do I feel the humiliation? I am mortified. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, defend plus for partners, okay. I'm so embarrassed, it's so humiliating. I, I, you could tell just by how uh, sad I am of all the humiliation, I know. It's tragic, I swear. You must feel secondhand humiliation on your end. It's that humiliating, being cursed four times. Sadly, there's nothing behind this waterfall. We... Oh, coins. Anything else here? S uh, how does it feel to be uh, spit on? Uh, it's, it's, it's awful. You know, very humiliating, I know. You must understand, if you played this game, you probably felt the, uh, the humiliation before. Those who have played this game know what it feels to be humiliated and spit on. Trust me, sinful, if you're still here. <laughs> You will f you will understand what it feels like to be humiliated and to be spit on once you have played this game. And we have the gate handle. So, let me swap to Yosh. Ooga. Still disappointed that there's no new colors for Yoshi. Still disappointed in that. Okay. Ah, uh, dang it. I thought he could make it. Oh well. Oh, I tried. Here, and let's open this up. If this was a Wii game, with motion controls, we would have to manually turn that crank. With the Wiimote. You know that. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! That freaky voice is making noises again. That The ghost must be nearby. Yeah. 
Well, time to go back and turn into boat. We're almost there. There's the field. Alright, turn to boat. It's very humiliating. Right, Molly? Very humiliating. Alright. I is there anything to the left? It doesn't seem like there is. So just head to the right. Time to dodge some waves. Gotta be a proper wave dodger. Just keep weaving up and down and all around. There we go, I made it. Is there anything back here? There's some coins, yay. Hey! Something's coming! There! Floating on the water! Where am I? Let me see! Huh? What? What? I can't breathe, you guys! It's a... Is that a... Is that a boat? Hey, over here! Please, save us! What is that? Well, that was pointless! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Huge disappointment! It's made out of paper! I still can't breathe here! We gotta unboot. Oh no, the ad jump scare. Just enjoying the peaceful tranquility of this soundtrack. And then BAM! Ads. Isn't that horrifying? Alright, right up here. Hey, it's been a while since we turned into a paper airplane. Very eventful, I swear. We pressed, we pressed one switch. Now we need to press the other one. This is a very eventful uh, paper airplane section, isn't it? It's been a while since we really used it. It's like, yeah, here's this for this tiny thing. Come on, there we go. So, hey, we can cross over now. Sinful Kim has followed. Thank you, Sinful. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Yes, all the toads are safe. And look, it's Francesca and Frankie. They are here too! Enjoy enjoy yourself, sinful. Yeah, the Dragon Quest sound. Uh I I you know, getting a follow is like a level up, you know what I mean? I'm level 82, right? That's how it works. Right? Act, are you implying you just got Dairy Queen? Oh, it's the Dairy Queen sound effect, I see. Yeah, there we go. Now I want a blizzard. Thanks, Act. Thanks. This is your fault. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well... Our ship got surrounded by ghosts and now on the ocean. And we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me! Me! Don Pianta's daughter! Francesca! And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. I'm still amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. So, hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me daddy had you come to take us back. What? There's a crystal star in the in the pirate's treasure. Well, I think the treasure is right there, right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. 
Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the, is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Actually, what does Gumbella have to say about this room? Now, act, I blame you. Now I want a blizzard. We're inside the pirate's grotto. Lots of sunken ships floating around here. That's a Francesca of the Pianta. She shipped right here, uh, even before we did. She doesn't seem too worried. I guess she doesn't care as long as she has Frankie. That's Frankie, Francesca's guy. He shipped right here even before we did. Looks like Francesca got him totally wrapped around her little finger, as always. Uh, does this one say anything? Yes. How will we ever get back to the surface? It smells so weird down here. That's one of the shipwrecked toads. He crashed just like we... He crashed just like we did. Frankie and I are just so in love anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. <laughs> hey, puddin' pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe. Everyone's watching. Getting out of here is treasure is treasure enough for us. But how do we get out? Well, you go on and fight Cortez, and we'll find a way how uh how, and we'll find a way out. How about that? That's one of the shipwrecked totes. I wonder how long he's been here. Clear, clear something up for me. You got here how? But wouldn't you have to turn into a boat or an airplane to do all that? This is one of the shipwrecked toads. He looks way worn out. I'm a traveling merchant, see? And I do some real fine products for you at the dis discriminating fella. Or the discriminating fella. Let's see, uh, nothing I really need. Nope, not interested? Well, here's hoping we bump into each other again someday. That's a toad salesman. He must have round up here the same way we did. He looks like he's got a good handle on business stuff. And he's probably phrased it better than business stuff. I don't remember this shop being here. That might be new. I don't remember that being there. Whoa. A what? Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way. And, uh, well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you. And then, listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. How'd you follow us? You can't turn into a boat. You're not cursed. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Grotus? What are you talking about? Whoa, sorry, what did I say? Forget it. I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. This guy's called Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors who came along to, to Key All Key. Oh, okay, she says the same thing. Maybe I'm just losing. Let's see. Uh, do I need healing? Mm, I could use it. Let's heal. Grab the recover. Let's go, fi let's go find Cortez. my rope warning oh come inside the door and be lost in darkness this is the inside of cortez's ship cortez must be inside that next room huh Enough! I grow tired of this ooh business. I'm a pirate, blast it! Pirates do not moan! I am cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of lives and loot, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Habwa, speak! I turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo! <laughs> By the way, Cortez is on the cover of the original GameCube version. <laughs> He's right there. Not on this one, though. So it's kind of weird to, that Cortez is just randomly on the cover. You heard Brooke? Good, that's what I was trying to go for. Let's tattle on him first. 
That's Cortez. He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. HP 20, attack is 4, defense of 1. His HP may seem low, but he is a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's tough and scary as he looks. I say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later, he'll go down for good. Just give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Well, 20 HP, so let's see. Can we pull a Macho Grubba? I have to know. Yes, we can pull a Macho Grubba. F he's asleep for five turns. Oh my god, this is stupid. <laughs> this is really stupid. He had one defense, didn't he? Yeah, he has one defense, so Ugum's not gonna work. If we go with Goombella, it's two damage. Uh, I guess Bobbery or Coops work fine. Doesn't really matter. We could set Bomb Squad, though. Maybe I'll do that later. Yeah, three damage. Okay, Bobbery is good for this. Let's see. Do I get my FP back? Nope. I failed you. All right, well, since he's asleep, we'll just do this. And you know what? I am going to normal jump. He's at five. We'll use another bomb. Okay, good. Oh, can we get a full heal? Bingo! Full heal! Let's go! Not that it was needed. <laughs> okay. Again, the only thing that recovered was my two, uh, was my two FP. Okay, let's try out Bomb Squad. I want to try something. Okay. I want it around the bone pile. Let's see if I do this right. Normal jump. One exploded already, I think. Hold on. Or did they all explode? Hold on. Okay. It says at the end of turn, so I think I wasted it. I heard there was like a way to speed up. Like, he transformed and then the bombs explode? That might be a GameCube version thing. Okay. We have to do- we have to check. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is so stupid. He's asleep for five turns! Alright, let's try to get this again. Bingo! Got my 5 FP back. <laughs> Who knew a lot of bosses were susceptible to sleep? I bet Dupless was. Alright, have a good day, Sinful. You're gonna miss me, like... Well, you already see my strategy. <laughs> but have a good day, Sinful. You see how much I cheese this boss. And have fun with Thousand, uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, what's he gonna drop? It missed, no matter what. Oh, we can attack the orb. I think that might actually have zero defense. And we even get a power boost? Oh, this is dumb. This is so dumb. Phase three. Come on. So each sword has four HP. I think there's something you can do. Send in Flurry. 
Gale Force. I know, I'm actually using Flurry for something. All the swords are susceptible to it. I knew about that one. He's oh no, he's not asleep. I guess we'll probably try that again. Yes, phase three has not been cheesed yet. It still hasn't been cheesed. Well, I can't use Bobbery. You know what? Let's see if I can burn him with Vivian. Yeah, you can burn him. Come on. Ugh, I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Oh no, he's pulling a hook tail. He gets a 50 HP recovery even though he doesn't need it. Is that the reason why he can't... That's a hammer. Get out of here. Is that why he can't fall asleep on phase three? I have tried three times. Phase, phase three is not being affected by sleep. Okay, I failed that, but it's okay. Got the super guard. I guess if I'm just gonna... Come on, get out of here. Stop throwing cans at me. Power jump, I guess. And let's see if I can get him burned. You know what I could have done? I could have used Soft Stomp, and then I could have used Ugo. Well, he's gonna die anyway. Whether I got the Super Guard or not. Die by burn. So Cortez has sleep cheese. Who knew? <laughs> so dumb. No, my treasure. Done for. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Estupido! You are foolish indeed! For I am not dead. I forgot he has a Spanish accent. Well, technically, I was already dead. But my es Espirito endures tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure. Then why are you here? Huh? And Sirio, you want this? This little rock over here. Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I do not really like that one anyway. I don't know why you wouldn't like this one. Who knows? You probably could have used it. While you were slowly dying, you probably could have used it for Sweet Feast. And here we are. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas, Mario sound, uh, soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need for fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath the hero's nose? Uh... Okay. Hold on. Bruno, that should do it. If you do not need anything else, away with you. Month star, day circle star. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. Molly, you're growling. I know you are. Knock it off. 
We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. Molly, what? Yes, I know. You're fine. Uh, let me pause and step away for a second so I can take care of this. Looks like we got some mail. Yes, Molly, I know the mailman's here. Okay, I am back. I grabbed the mail off the front, and uh, Molly went outside. I took a, took care of a couple things. Should be good. All right, and Mario's asleep. I don't blame him. But we just finished chapter five. But or I should say we beat Cortez. But there's still more here. What gives? Oh, we got the full heal. Okay, well, make it safe. I guess getting a crystal star fully heals you. Wow, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you all right? Yahoo! You beat Cortez. Wow, you're really something. Hey, if you got time to be impressed by heroics, you gotta you got time to think of a way out of here. Um, all that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel grease. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I, I guess it, that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? Bombery, it's your job. And I guess that toad is also, you know got hit by the explosions. Ah, it worked just like I said. Well, me first. 
Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I, I need to leave now. Time to leave. We still need to find a way back. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is Keyhole Key. The sun's brutal as you expect on a southern isle. Blues, blue skies, white clouds. I've always wanted to take an island vacation. Don't you just want to yell, Hey, stupid ocean, look at me. I'm on vacation. And I don't know if you can hear, but the cat's whining. He always wants something. I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave, but the whole thing was rather exciting. I'm just glad the little dame is safe and sound. I love the salty air. I need to get back to Roeport where my brother is waiting. Oh, Mario, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure. And you beat him. But you left all the treasure there. Ugh! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, uh, well. That's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? Our brother! You, what are you doing here? I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attacked us. And our boat just sunk. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sunk too? So you're all stranded here as well? Hold on, huh? What was that? Ack! What was that? No. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I forgot my voice that I used for him. So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need to for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yes, sincerely. Good job for getting it for me. Oh wait, now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What is he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes! It's dangerous up there! Pfft. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here! Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you, idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I am actually... B -b -b <laughs> the Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind of the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. No way! I would have never guessed. So he was the spy all along! And here I thought it was Flavio. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. Because you don't know what will happen if I don't. You know what will happen. Stubber, starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire. Hey, <laughs> yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time. Madness. Uh, what are you all standing around for? Cannons, people. We must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Why do bad guys only hire storm troopers? Exactly. Why do they? They're, it's very cheap. You can get them in big numbers for a very low price. But that doesn't mean they're good at the job. Wait. I have it. I am a genius. We have a ship at hand. And a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez has a ship. If the legend is true, that we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? There's no way that will work. This is Cortez, the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you. Cream. Cream you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a dirty. I have a duty to protect you. 
We will be cannon fodder if we just sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Let's go back to Cortez. Yeah, I think they hire stormtroopers because it's cheap labor, and you can get a, a lot of stormtrooper. You can get a lot of men for the amount of money you pay. Stormtroopers. You know, the, a big army is very intimidating. But that's all it really is, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, well, it's you again. Did you forget something? I, I lost the accent. <laughs> C -c 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 Cortez, I, I have to speak with you. C -c 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 Could you lend me your ship? What? What it possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you, anyway? M -m -m my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble, and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. We just need to borrow your ship for the two seas a little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent the ship for present. I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. Ah, and even if I were to lend it to you, this ship is Magica. I cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the ma mystical skull gem. The, the skull gem? You, you mean this? You! You have the skull gem! Uh, yes, yes I do so. Alright, what do you say to this propo uh, proposition then? Take this gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that's a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez? O old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutty peacock! You must be very brave, or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a pinata and throw a party on the beach. Wait, just a moment. Do you not... Do you do not make me have Mario trounce you, trounce you again. While he fights you, I'll throw the stone into the sea, where you will never find it. How about that, Pete? Molly, hey! The cat is causing problems. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right. Let me swap it back. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> uh, you rattle my bones, Senior Peacock. Bruno de Gula. Fine, take it. I accept your bargain. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, uh, check it. Check in, mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no? You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now you can take this. Where'd the skull gem go? Is it in a skull? Is it like Brooke? Ah, now my precious black skull will now sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all. But for now, we sail! Oh. I'm like, isn't something supposed to happen? Wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. While we're still in here... 
This is Cortez's room, all right. I guess you could call this the captain's cabin. Sure, there is a sure is a lot of treasure in here. You could live many, many, many. You can live many lives of luxury with this. And I'll tell you, lots of the stuff has archaeological value as well. You think maybe we could pocket a little without Cortez noticing? Being Bella trying to steal some old pirate treasure. It belongs in a museum. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take him. Come on, all for one, guys. Boy, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog, all, hog, the, hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed upon the sea. Come to the open waters. And we use ghost fire to... Actually, just the, sp the ghost spirits to, uh, you know, let the sail do its thing. <laughs> I got ammo to spare. How's that for a boom boss -a boom You fire cannons here without my permission. You have nerve, mortal. There we go. Time for a pirate battle. What the? Time for a naval battle. Time to storm the enemy pirate ship. If only we could actually control this, that'd be kind of cool. Actually have a naval battle. Grr, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sink, this, sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and and duel that cat. There we go. A Grotus fight. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'm gonna turn you into seaweed. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Let's see, can we cheese this? First things first. Let's tattle. First, let's get the pile. That's an X-Knot platoon. Crump commands them all. Where'd they come from? Their max HP depends on their condition, but attack is five and defense is zero. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. But they're pretty wimpy, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? All right, six HP. I should be able to do that on my own right here. Hold on. Yeah, get out of here. You can't have behind your stormtroopers. All right, let's go after Lord Crump. Again, I'm noticing the song got extension. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. HP 30, attack of 3, defense is 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry too, don't worry much about him. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get crumped. Can we cheese him? Yes. Yes, you can. You could cheese Lord Crump. This is too stupid. Ooh, Gump. Come on. He's asleep for four other turns. He's not going to be able to do anything. Like, here, I'm even going to lower his defense. I think it could go into the negatives, can it? Oh, he's awake. Uh, huh? You're not gonna get off that easy, losers. Let's t let's see how you like this. X nuts. Uh, 
Ooh, how scary. Wow, couldn't block all that. Ah, that's on me. Alright. Still 6 HP. Um... Wait a minute, I want to try something. They are in the air, right? Does Tornado Jump work on them? I mean, kind of. It does hit them, but only for two damage. Not that great. However, what's what's Earthquake? Get out of here. <laughs> there we go. And another set, huh? Well, that's not going to matter because... Okay, so defense cannot go below zero. And I'm guessing attack is the same thing. Ah, cheater. Uh, huh? Man, this is no good. I thought this was... I thought it was almost... I thought it was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet. You sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. Alright, well, um... Okay. Mini-8? Let's test things out. Nope, doesn't seem to work. He's gonna Katamari me. Alright. Gonna need to consider... Um... Let's see, what, what can I do? Can we still Sleepy Stomp him? Yes, this is too stupid. This is way too dumb. So too many enemies can be put to sleep. Okay, he's out. I don't know if the backdrop woke, woke him up or what. Okay, Yoshi. He's not looking too good. Still gonna do the same thing. Oh, I didn't see the mist. I did not see the mist. Hold on. Bobbery. This will ignore the mist. Or not? I thought it usually ignores it. There we go. We'll do that. Nah, get out of here. Alright, let's see. How about... Oh, wait. One second. Let's get... We've gone back in here. Let's go ahead and use a sweet feast. You can hold left stick instead of... Constantly. Dang it. There we go. We can just hold it now. There's going to be another poison. I just know it. Nope. Okay. There we go. Yoshi got not a full heal, but good enough. All right. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? We'll just... Try it again. There we go. We got it to work. I think that's his last set of reinforcements. Miss oh no. Okay, so he just summons more. Never mind. Okay. Alright, let's just not bother with them then. Get put to sleep, Lotus.
Uh, fail. Oh well. Alright. Ground pound. And remember, I do have. I could have used power lift to make this go even faster. There's a lot you can do. Huh, so they'll attack even if Rose is asleep. Who knew? And we got him. This should be it. Go, Yoshi, you got this for the win. Get out of here, Grum. I was about to say Grotus, but no, it's Grum. And double EXP! The third boss fight to have double EXP. In this run. No level out of that, but still. And this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Like, li like winning hates me. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I hate losing. Like hen winning hates me. Yeah, yeah, we whipped him. That loser won't get in our face for a while for sure. Way to go, we did it. Cola's on me. Eat seaweed. Now we get to see what Peach is up to. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then you're dismissed. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must make some measures. Or take some measures? Whatever. Yeah, take measures. Tech, Tech, call me in here again. I wonder what he wants this time. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gross's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network. I am un unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Gross has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine as you act accordingly to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I am I have but now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. the elevator once again. You will first go to the opposite direction of Gross's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp above it. I think it's all the way at the end. Past the second elevator. There we go. Oh, 
Uh, I hope you like the baking mini game for baking the cake of the first game because we gotta do this all over again. Now I'll have you con concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Gross's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in, in the conco concoctor. It is that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion is to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the excellent researchers. Please use them as reference to set the potions in the machine. Let's see. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay. Place the blue potion next to the red one. Okay. Place two potions between the green and the red potion. Two potions between green and red. <clears throat> and red cannot be on the far right. So red needs to go first. And blue needs to be next to it. Yeah. And then this one said two potions between red and green. Red and green. Yep. I think this is right. Red, are you sure they're placed to your liking? Very well. Then please, uh, please cue the button on the control panel located in the left side of the room. Okay, hold on. What's this last note? What does it say? Place the yellow potion between the blue and the green potion. Yeah, okay, this is right. While this is happening, I am going to pull up stopwatch. Please press the buttons where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Okay. There's a new light that, uh shows you how much time you have left. That, I don't think that was there. One more. End it with the green. Alright. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after heating this starts to stop the machine. Press the button to begin the heating process. I got a stopwatch going. You can also, I could also just look at the session timer too. Oh well. Looks like I'm at 15. I think you have a range of like five seconds to get this right or something like that. Five, four, three, two. Should be enough. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It's smelly. It, it smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Come on. There we go, we're invisible. You have done it! You have successfully made yourself transparent! Congratulations! However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait! I should have my dress so it doesn't get discovered. When you go into the Sir Gross's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Gross's room. Once you are finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Gross's room. Uh... <laughs> well, we're invisible, alright. 
Oh, what? That was creepy. Why did the doors op open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Can you talk to... No, okay, you just kind of... Everyone's like, what the hell? What's happening? Alright, all the way to Gross's room. At least you have a shadow, I guess, so you're not completely, like, invisible. Light is still affecting you in some way. must be Gross's room. Now, where is that disc? So, if we check here, not here. Not here, that might have been the same thing. Found it! This must be it. We got a data disc. Then please insert that disc into the computer in this room and connect it to the network. All right. And it's the Famicom Disk System. I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! Is that it? Okay, well, I'm still doing things. Yeah, it's the Famicom Disk System. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disk back where I forgot it. There. Like, it was ne like I was never here. And that's it. Time to head back. Yeah, if she were trying to carry it around, it would just be a floating disc. You know. There would be no way to hide it. Come on, almost... It's all the way on the other side of the room. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to attain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now, I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You'll revert to normal, in normal instantaneously. instantaneously. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Okay, just hang on a minute. Just hang on one moment. We cannot make this rated, you know, actually, it would be higher than M. We cannot do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There's never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. And we are just gonna skip past her getting all the way back. So I'm assuming just everyone was gone at that moment, I guess. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very hev heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you told me when you deciphered the data, huh? Good, now I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? A message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. And with that... Let's see what's up with Bowser. What is Bowser up to at the moment? Ah, uh, Twilight Town. And Crump's here. Why? He got here pretty quickly. Black, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. 
Eek! Sh 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 what? Alright. No, no. Uh, 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 am I gonna be turned into a pig again? B -b 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 uh huh. C -c Crystal star. I I have no idea. Really. P -p Please spare me. I sound as bored as possible. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. Ah, uh, they don't say anything. I mean, why would they? Eek! Ha! Hack! Oof! Yarg! Your pu uh, putridness! Wait! Make one of those weirdos tell you where the crystal star is. I see. We can't just leave to the next area. I wonder if there's a way to, like, glitch through and go into the next area while still playing as Bowser in either version. What would that do? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Bildum said she lost her super ball uh, somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here. Or else... Bam! Got it! I'm an I'm the man! Now I can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop! Hot diggity dog! B -b 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 the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me! You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Huh? Someone there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Actually, it'll be you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. If you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no. Wait a minute. Wait, what am I afraid of? You? <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. All troops, report! <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of, kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff us, Koopa Clan? Form up! Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, I got a laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dolts. Super bomb on. Bomb. Uh, bob bomb. Incoming. Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. And that's what Bowser is up to. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle. Excellente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use the ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, oh, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now, get this boat moving. That's all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario! We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think we can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario. Give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm gonna do all right here, I think. Yeah, let's break out, Gonzalez. Paparados, Pro amigos, cast off. Back to Rogueport we go. Sail for three days. 
Unless the ship is faster with ghost energy. I don't remember the song, though. This might be a new one, I don't know. Month, star, day, circle, heart. And thus our adventures come to an exciting end. Ah. The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange, though, as it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes. Even now I hear the crew ready in the dock. The time to, to the time is right to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all. But of course, you all knew that, and know it well. Yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. But what? Hey, where are... Hey, you're all leaving already? Uh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mark. You are anxious to continue your own adventures also, huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you. But you should, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If you... Uh, memento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Kihol Key, just say the word, see? I will send you to the isle faster than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull. You, get your time and the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, ah. Okay, Gonzalez, that's our cue. Let's break out of here and head for the door. And here's what I'm thinking. Let's wrap it up here. And next time, we will, you know, get the next chapter, you know, we'll go to the door and get the next chapter started. We'll do some troubles. Uh, we'll do the one I skipped. And I think we'll go to the glitz pit. It seems like there's going to be a pr Prince Mush fight. I want to at least do that. Anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottfot 64 Stream Archives. Again, next time, a lot more cleanup, I guess. We'll see if we even start Chapter 6. We probably will, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, have a good day.